Hello and welcome back to the Hand of Fate. I'm your host, Tin Man. The more you play, the more I wonder. Oh yeah, what do you wonder? Uh, today looks like we are playing for the Scepter, apparently. Fighting the Jack of Scales. Oh, I see we have the cooldowns for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Ugh, that's, that's not good. In every combat, the last enemy alive can no longer be stunned nor interrupted. Fun. The latent magical abilities make these lizard men feared by all, even their own kind. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Mm. Oh, how good, very good for you. Symbols. But now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Well, you should have made this a very unfair game, is all I have to say about that. <laughs> oh, for, I, for, for this game, it's very, very, very balanced. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Ah, oh, fun. Okay, let's go through this small bit then. A helpful priest. Ah, I'll give you half my food. Let's see. This one. <laughs> I want. This, I want to get the like full, Very huge nice success. Indeed. Toxic blood. It is a bad. It is a bad. Danger in the shadows. Aha, the count enters the picture. Ooh, new character here. On a dark, moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friends. I am in need of some uh, sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold, he asks, taking out a bag of coins. Yes, sure, why not? The stranger moves with an unnatural speed to grasp, grasp you firmly and fight at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Ah, thank you, he says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Yeah, sure. Yeah, he can just keep, keep drinking me blood. Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give your blood for material gain. The stranger goes on to tell you a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. And now we have obtained the token and some interesting information. So let's see what we have here. The hero's remains. So huh. often this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. And they become martyrs, but that's a, that's a different story for another time. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. This hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be complete. Will, will you do this, traveller? Yes, yeah, sure. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts had not been returned. It is not far from the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Really? To rage and anger not from a barbarian horde. <laughs> uh No, we 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 And hurry, it is not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. A heavy burden. Ha. Huh. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Well, we actually are going to return said belongings look, to the town. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You, you reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric reach meets you at the gate. He appears to have a stand standing vigil. 
Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded by in righteous fury. Do you also have the shield? Yeah, sure we do. We are both. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning this shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who protect who protected. Can we fell those who trespass against us? Ooh, we get two blessings. Yay. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. Shut up. Any kill but it Ooh, we get if we kill people with an axe, we get free health back. Not bad. And whenever the player uses an artifact, there's a 30% 30 30 chance. Ooh, that's quite good. Especially considering we have the curse, which is double the timer on it. So, you have blessed, done blessed work this day. For your services, we will prepare for you a sacred artifact that you may continue your good work through the dark days ahead. Neat. And we are... Uh, Running low on food, sadly. Boy, here we go. Our hero needs sustenance badly. We do. We we truly do. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. Crap. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. <laughs> that. <laughs> Until it's safe. <laughs> That's quite good. <laughs> I quite like. I quite like that saying. <laughs> oh come on! Oh, no poison. Okay, they're not poison yet. No, just gotta keep swing. Gotta keep swinging. Come on! There we go. There we go. All we do is just have a lot of blessings and a couple of curses on us right now. So this is going to be like a blessed run, I guess. Oh, uh, we get some. Yes, we got some food. That's what we need. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I truly am. I truly am. Okay, sleep in the forest. Get what we do ghostly friend slides into is we don't attack them. I should not be here. I fear his servants already know where I am. For a brief moment, the ghost's pale eyes feel achingly familiar. Please, come home soon. You blink and the ghost is gone. At your feet is a bag of food. I'll get a lot of food now, aren't we? Here, take it. That's the most pleasant you ever sounded. <laughs> a traveling tinkerer. Nah, we don't need anything from here. Now we're here at the carnival again. <laughs> not my forte. Okay. Choose from these options. Ah yes, yes. <laughs> Cheers and grass draw you to a large tent. Inside you discover a number of spectacles being performed by costumed artists. And you have to do this repeatedly. That one. Eh, close enough. A strong man offers a magical item as a price for anyone who can lift even half of what he can. You take the challenge and, after a brief but intense effort, accept the prize. Okay. Ooh, got an artifact. Knife for all and mercy for none. Sometime later, you find yourself standing. Yeah, okay. Still, it's just a really annoying token to get. A ladder escape, eh? I wonder who escaped down here. Let's head this way. A winding trail. Well then, how will you deal with this? Well, we're not gonna back down from a fight. Let's put it that way. Yes, I know how to use an artifact, sir. Yep. There we go, got that. Come on, get back over here. Okay, you're down. And you're down to two.
Still no food. Armor that gives you the proportional Let's skip that. And power of a barbarian, which you are on closer examination. Is cheers for that. Battle at Brooktop again. Ooh, scales and a and six of plague. Ooh, oh, this first time fighting lizard men. Okay, bring them on. Okay, we'll take care of these rage guys first, I guess. And they are fireballs, what? <laughs> Aha! Oh, there's an archery thing there. Okay, you're down. Oh, come on, I dodged that. Oh, he fell through the world. Oof, okay. Close, close. Bye! <laughs> I love how they just sink through the floor. Boy, you can really do with some food. Ooh, what's this do? Uh, we can inflict curse. Then finish them. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ooh, an exit. Yeah, sure. Why not? What brings you to play the game? Ha, I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. I think it's more the fact that we're mute. Way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Oh, I wasn't even looking at that one. Crap. Oh well. Oh, there's only four bandits. They were they were they were previously great fruit looting. Well Ah, so no, done. Too many. Okay, that broke all the boxes. You're down. Bonus damage! Gun! <laughs> uh, the thing got shot in an arrow before we got a chance. I was out of food, so we don't heal at the moment. <laughs> oh no, we got food now, so now we do heal. Not a lot, a but it's food. better. Not a great change, but enough to switch the odds a little. It is. It really, truly is. Ooh, the maiden, but it's I part of the. Uh, on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. It's part of the goblin story. This maiden. So one day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Your thoughts turn to Mr. Lionel and his need for some elven hair. The maiden, well, yeah, we're requesting a lock of hair from the elf maiden. The maiden considers this for a moment before slicing a few strands from her hair. As you wish, but be cautious, mortal. You have the taint of a goblin about you, and they say may never, they may never be trusted. The elders of our kind often say that we must retread paths we once took in order to take advantage of the presence. Farewell, mortal. What a, what a good saying. Especially because of the situation we're currently in as well. Okay, let's approach this shop, see what they have to offer. Alchemist Silver Plunderers have Hags Wrap. It's not enough that you kill them, you'll curse them too. <laughs> yes, yes it is. And we got really good equipment there. So we do more damage to... The right bumper to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer you come with the most, uh, more explosive the reaction. Oh, I remember now what my like end game strategy was. It was to have those hag rats because they slow down the enemy and uh, movement and attack speed. And then you obviously just speed yourself up to ridiculous proportions. Down once more, seeking the heart of it all. And we'll head up. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. 
True, he really is. Okay, we need to get some food all the way uh, right now. Finally, an opportunity to eat. Uh, we need to sell some stuff beforehand, though. Oh, we got not much to sell, though. I'm going to buy one, one food. Oh. Starvation begins. Yeah, one more step forward. That's all we got. Cough. <laughs> okay. We're good here. Uh, rat med hood. At least we get food off their carcasses. Is a fine way to provoke them. It really, it truly is. It truly is. All right, now we are in need for some food. Come on, stay down. What's this like weird ass? Oh yeah, it must be the curse. There we go. That's done and dusted. Boy, that is a. Uh, Evil looking weapon, isn't it? Please have food. Yes. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> okay, another frat men hunting. Okay. To see Jack again. I'm not happy to see this Jack again, I'll put it that way. Oh no. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh no! Okay, that's quite close. Oh, there we go. You know what I mean? They just slow down so much that you just get the odd hit in that you usually wouldn't get in. But seriously, I need to I need the food. I need food here. I got three, that's good, okay. Up or down. Let's head up. Yes. Go against now a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. And truly you will see that. This lizard man's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. Ah oh, damn. Damn. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. I'm just not happy with the fact that he's going to nullify my artifacts and stuff. Oh well, we might as well spam our swords, knives even. The Jack of Scales. Very well, let us... Back to the death! Oh, no, 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 our cooldown wasn't off. Okay, we're just gonna try using this. Oh, he fell through the world. God, God. This doesn't work, does it? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going with Berserk armor. That's why I'm going much faster than I suspect I usually would. Oh, he's down. Uh, it's really hard to tell whether he's like, my bosses aren't that big a threat because they just become lesser enemies mm. that you fight later on, isn't it? So. Well played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Oh, well, you should start preparing a stronger card and it looks like you have. Ooh, we start our adventure with more food. Huzzah! Uh, equipment card. Start equipment has been upgraded. Redmen and bandits have increased, and lizard men strength have increased. Huzzah! Wonderful. Bloody wonderful. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate and leave me to mine. No, yeah, we're halfway. You we're halfway through now. Let us see what happens next. We're halfway through now. We are gonna see this to the end. While trading so enthusiastically with the stranger in the shadows, stranger in the shadows, you received 
the blood auction. Or returning the belongings of the dead hero of Ondermere you receive. Ooh, Tangled per Blessing and Warcry. It looks for showing the ghost you are merciful. You receive a sleep at the inn. For gaining the elf maiden's hair, you receive the Goblin King's Halls too. And this for defeating my lizard man Jack, you receive Queen of Skulls, Dark Ritual, a Metal Ore, and a Holy Forge. And uh, what else? The Hernies and Atlant Atlas and the Undead Vein. Well, the Atlas were good, they did, it did help deal double damage to them, I just realised. Yeah, so we are halfway through our adventure, so that does it for this episode of The Hand of Fate. I have been your host, Tinman, and I'm signing off. Goodbye. <laughs>